you love it? Yeah, I do. That's so cool. And run video. Okay, cheers. Now cheers. we cheers. Now we cheers. Now we cheers. <laughs> yeah. Riss. Matthew, Matthew, Riss. Hi, hi. Um, we're going to be doing a haircut. We're going to be doing a haircut. Yeah, but we don't say what haircut we're doing anymore. Okay. We just show pictures and we're like, then we can take like, that looks nothing like the picture. <laughs> <laughs> so we just, we're going to be doing a haircut. Okay, we're going to be doing cool. a haircut. Yeah, yeah. And this is very 70s vibing, mm -hmm. general. Like, so we're going, lately we've been doing a lot of if haircuts from that era anyway, right. so okay. we're so channeling it. <laughs> we're so channeling it. Okay. But we need to do a wardrobe change on you, and I think someone like you in that era would have been denim. Yeah, denim. Let's go find something denim. Okay. Oh, awesome. Cool. Jump on you. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, so much fun. Yeah, so how, like, did you say from the first lockdown you've been doing it? Yeah, what happened in the first, coming back from the first lockdown, everyone mm -hmm. coming out of that lockdown was like all mullets. Right, yeah. And I'm like, this is fun. Mullets and, were really trendy for a big time, yeah? Yeah, and then we thought, what else can we do? And then the haircut we're doing today, you know, it's, it's retro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, we just grew on it. The most popular haircut on this channel has been that wedge haircut. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah, no, it's, it's fun. It's a great haircut to have. Now, if you were growing your hair, we'd be like, oh, let's do a wedge. Mm -hmm. And I'd probably pay you <laughs> 200. <laughs> Let me know you change your mind. <laughs> you want a wedge like that? You can get 200 bucks. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to come back and do it. Right. No, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> we're going to do what we said we're going to do. All right. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. I'm ready. The and day I'm going to cut my hair short, I'm going to come back and be like, it's time. Yep. It's time. <laughs> yep. And you know where to come. <laughs> yep, exactly. So we do the stripey cake because it is a big chair. Mm -hmm. We do, it's all retro, so we want you to... Yay! Yeah, I haven't had like a long, like, style haircut in forever. We were saying that before, because you've had perpetual bobs. Perpetual bob. And then what happened is, is you're growing out your bob. Kind of fluked. Though. And you've been growing it for a while. Mm -hmm. But you can still see old bob. Yeah. Because it's that way. Yeah. Now here. Yeah. Yeah. And then the only thing you've cut is basically that. Yeah. Unless, did you have like a bob with bangs? Is that why yeah, that's there? Yeah, yeah pretty so much. So this is now your, your grown-up bob. My extended bob. Your extended <laughs> bob. Yeah, yeah, that's a bit way of putting it. Um, so now this is the first time you're shaping your hair since growing out your bob. Yeah. 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 Now me, I'm like, oh my god, but you'd look so good with the bob. But I can't give you a bob because you're like, been there, done that. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. but I mean, we can, that's why we do other things with you. <laughs> And then also, oh yeah, the wet haircut on you would be amazing. But, <laughs> but it's because you've got away from the bob. Yeah. That's why in your head, like, mm. Ugh. you'd love it, but it's it's going back to where you've been. Yeah. So that's why we're gonna we're gonna play with what you have. Yeah. Cool. Come on over. We're gonna wash it. See. Jump on here. Waddle. Yeah. Waddle. Cool. Yeah. 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 Anyhow, come on over. Now for styling, I'm not going to say what I'm going to do, but it's not what you think. Okay. I'm excited. And I haven't done it on this channel yet, so... I trust you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't even imagine what it must have been like for like the first raves to like start up and sit up and people... It must have blown people's minds. The mind. early raves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in case people are wondering, we were talking about raves over there. <laughs> the early raves. The early raves and the colors. And the colors, so same now. What were you saying? You were saying, when was the biggest time for color? Yeah. And I'd say, well, it was, like, you know, when, the, when you get into the raves, and, from around 93, 94, it was when grunge died and raves became a thing. And then girls were cutting off their hair and doing crazy colors um, because it sucked. Having one, like, Taking ecstasy in a dark, dirty rave and dancing until the sun comes up with long hair. Right. Sweating and sucked. Yeah. So if you're trying to be cool and do all that stuff, you're cutting all your hair off. And I suppose it's... And then while you're cutting it all off, you're going to throw all the colors on there because everything's colorful in your world anyway. What would you say was the most popular color at the time? Oh, everything. Yeah? Because by then, that's when directions and stuff, or manic panic or directions, oh, was already a thing, right? Manic We're still around today. Like directions, yeah. um, we have over here, you know... Um, the bottle hasn't changed, but 
we've been putting some people here since the early 90s. Oh my God. And definitely at that era, at that time, Atlantic Blue has classes. Like nothing's changed about this line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, but yeah. That's crazy cool. Yeah. So we get to cut French. French. I'm gonna go home. Right there? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. We have consent? We have consent. Sweet. <laughs> it's done. And it's gonna get longer as it goes over to the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> I feel like switching up your look is one of those things where it just like, you feel like a new person afterwards, you know? Yeah. And in case anyone's wondering, um, you booked for a haircut in the salon as a regular. Well, you called. Yeah, I called. It was called. the end of your day. Yeah. It was the end of my day. And you think, is there any type of haircut? I said, yeah, come on in. So when you came in, and then I said, did you want to pay me for a haircut or did you want me to pay you for a haircut? <laughs> and I was like, what? I like, what? I said, I'll put you on the, I'll put you on the, I said, do you want to be on my movie? She's like, yes. <laughs> And then now you're in my movie and I'm paying you for the haircut instead of you paying me. Yeah, it's been the, the wildest turn of the Because what you show, what you showed me what you want to do, I said, oh yeah, no, I can do that in, you know. Yeah, you of, said straight away. Yeah. I was like, he was like, what do you want to do? And yeah. I was like, long shag. And he was like, oh, oh you just gave it He's away. He's like, girl. <laughs> yeah. like, do you want to be in my movie? <laughs> means you, I don't, you know, means you, I can pay you for your haircut. Yeah, we never had that happen before. No, well, there's nothing like this. Like, yeah. there's, no, there's no explanation for any of this. <laughs> But yeah, you walk in the salon to get a haircut, and they are getting paid for your haircut. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, I take control over it as well. <laughs> and you're like, I'll take it from here. But I think uh, also your fringes end up shorter than what did you we looked at with before. Mm -hmm. because, well, because that's what happens. Yeah. I'm paying you, so I'm going to take control over it. <laughs> I trust you. I yeah, trust no, you. exactly. But it's, it, to be honest, it's a better outcome because when you walk out and you look at this, I'm like, I wasn't, I would never have asked for this. Yeah. But yeah. I freaking like it more. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's the part. Yeah, although, and also giving up control. It's all part of it. Mm, mm, mm. You sound like you have a slight bit of an accent. Are you from Nova Scotia. No. Nova Scotia? Nova Scotia, yeah. Nova Scotia. Well, Toronto and Nova Scotia. And yeah. I live between the two. And then I went from Toronto to Nova Scotia to New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And then back to Toronto for a bit, then back to New Zealand. So, That's you know. So and when you move around, I mean, the accents are. Just get so just blended. Your head in, yeah. Yeah. And I got these little kids that are born here with hybrid accents. <laughs> yeah. Because their mom's from Zimbabwe and I'm from where I'm from, and these kids are born here. Oh my gosh. Mixed up kids. No, they're great kids. My parents are both just from New Zealand, and it took me so long to even leave New Zealand. The first place I went was Thailand, and that was like oh, yeah? so eye opening to me. Yeah. I'm like from like quite far down south, like way in the country. Oh, are you? What far far south are you? Like more towards like Omaru type ish area down yeah, south. That's yeah. Right, yeah. And I like my closest neighbor would be like a twenty minute walk from my house. And Wellington yeah. was like the biggest city I'd ever been to. And then I got to Bangkok and I was like, What is wow, going yeah, that's on? That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing I love with this channel is, yeah, you guys talking about where you're from and stuff. And because mm. a lot of people around the world, like, they've never heard of Omaru. I know where Omaru is. Yeah. I know where you grew up. Yeah. But, um, you know, the plains or <laughs> the plains of Canterbury. But you're a little yeah. bit south of that. You're the bottom end of a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your farm? You grew up on a farm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's farm cool. Land. Was it dairy farming? Well, we kind of just, like, maintained, like, my parent, my dad just, like, did a lot of farm work for other farm owners. Right, so we lived right. in a house and they would have, like, sheep or yeah. like sometimes because so you had a nice house but you didn't live on a big yeah like it wasn't our land. farm but we kind of were just like oh we'll have the nice house on your farm and oh yeah, work, you well. know? yeah because um people own the land and the farmhouse yeah but they rent things out they'll rent the yeah. field out or they rent the house out they'll or basically be things. like oh we have this super super nice house you can come live here for super cheap rent if yeah. you want to work on my because farm. of the labor yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. or they'll just like give it to you rent free and be like you will like Work. Pay pay the rent and like yeah. working for the farm, you yeah. know, and then they'll also give you like a little bit of extra yeah. money for like food yeah. and stuff like that, yeah. which like works out really well, especially like a lot of kids that like don't like understand if like not don't understand like can't decide if they want to go into like a like career field, you like a right. more businessy career field, like and they're just like being outdoors and stuff like that. Oh. Like a lot of people do that, and it's yeah. like a really nice option for them, I guess. Yeah. Well, you have a job. You don't know what you want to do when you grow up. It doesn't matter. You're okay because there's work to be done. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you want to go to university? I don't know what I want to do. I'm like, that's fine. Well, you know what? The cows need milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, pretty <laughs> okay. much. Okay. <laughs> well, you, you can think about it while you're milking the cows. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> a lot of the boys get into that. And then, like, there will be, like, so many other, like, perks that come with the job as well. Like, it won't even just be a house. I'll be like, oh, we'll give you a truck so you can drive around the farm. And they'll give you trailers and, like, yeah. all sorts, you know? Yeah. They'll be like, oh, it's winter and you need to go out and milk the cows at 4 a.m. We'll give you all, like, merino gear yeah. and stuff like that. Like, yeah. So it works out pretty well. And yep. then they obviously get all the money from the produce of the cows, I guess. Yeah. But I was never really into that, I guess. I've always been like a more, more of a city girl. Yeah. Now, what did you take in school? Well, I did like a lot of IT courses. And at the moment, I'm a software, right. um, software engineer. All right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I cool. do like a lot of programming, coding and stuff like that. Cool. Which is like pretty awesome, I yeah. guess, sometimes. But oh, no. So Wellington is a high-tech high hub. Yeah. So I definitely can see that like when I'm older, I'll be so over and I'll just want to move oh, yeah. back into the forest. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, yeah. It's time for me to But a lot of college. people I know in my past um, did really well with the high tech. And one, you know, one of them, he now lives on an island off of Vancouver right. um, in House Sound. Right. He just goes around now walking the beaches on his island collecting driftwood. <laughs> And he carves them into sculptures. Oh, really? But you look at his career, the most amazing career. I'm not going to say who yeah. it is or what he did. Yeah. But it's the most amazing. But he made a crap lot of money. Now he's like a driftwood artist. Oh my gosh. Because he doesn't want to look at a computer ever again for the rest of his life. I always think that's like the coolest thing when people can just start to do something that they're passionate about and then just yeah, turn that away. into a career. Yeah, walk yeah. away and do something else. Yeah, and just be like, yeah. you know what, I'm just going to do this for the rest of my life. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy cool. So you grew up in a farm and you had little bobs. Yeah, pretty much. Because only well, farm girls are long hair. Actually, when I when I was growing up, I would like have I grew up with my dad more yeah. than I did with my mom, yeah. and I lived solely with my dad and my brother. So I kind of just had like long hair that like I didn't really do like hair styling or hair cuts. Like, yeah. I never did hair coloring. It, my hair just grew, and I just kind of dealt with it as I grew. So I always had long hair as a kid. And yeah. then when I first got to the city, I was like, you want time to, for the bob. Yeah, you, yeah you, could, you did the big bob. Yeah, yeah. You went to look I did like, the bob moment. Yeah. Don't I look metropolitan? I was like, oh my god. Then gosh. you go home for a visit and you come with this place. Like, you cut your hair. Like, you're and you're like, yeah. And they're like, oh, no, I don't grow back. And you're like, but I don't want it to grow back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, this is, you know, they, don't get, they don't get it. Yeah. Like, oh, you cut your hair. Well, I don't want it to grow back. <laughs> like, but I don't want it to grow back. <laughs> and then now you're going back. Mm -hmm. Well, now we're, we're, good. we're doing that. Well, even when you had long hair, you wouldn't have done cuts like this. Mm. I, there was a few times where I was like, I've had enough long hair, I'm gonna cut my own hair and just absolutely mutilated my, my yeah. own hair. It was, it was so bad. Yeah. I remember being like, oh, I'm not gonna make the mistake of cutting my hair with scissors, so I'm just gonna razor my hair. Yeah. And that was so bad. <laughs> it was <Yeah>. so bad. <laughs> I remember like coming to school the next day and my friends were like, what have you done? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> it's like, well, you know what? This recently with these <laughs> lockdowns and the YouTube haircuts mm -hmm. and all I could do this and yeah. you know, and, they could, everyone's doing that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh. Yeah. The only reason why you're doing it is probably where you grew up and there's not a lot of hair salons, so you were yeah. just bored and you got a pair of scissors. I guess it's because with my dad as well as well, he was just kind of like, True. what's the he's point? Not gonna you, yeah. He's not going to give you fashion advice. Yeah, he you're was like, just like, you're fine the way you are. Yeah, exactly. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dads are awesome. Dads are awesome. Unconditional. Hell yeah. You do some crap to your hair and you're like, oh. <laughs> I that looks like fun. I remember talking to my mom. Unconditional support from dad. <laughs> yeah. I remember talking to my mom about my hair. And my yeah. mom was like, oh, you should get something done to it. And my dad was like, okay. And he took me to the salon and he was like, we don't know what to do. And they were like, we're going to give you highlights. And we were like, what? But see, that's dad taking you. But he yeah. Was, yeah, he's in his own world. Now, I got a story. It's um, uh, the two twin girls that grew up, same like you. I won't say who their names are or the town or anything. But it's the same or uh, you know rural environment yeah, yeah, yeah. now what happened was the twin girls and they were only about 12 or 13 I think they were 13 at the time long hair mm -hmm. but the one girl was going through magazine pictures mm -hmm. and saw these cool short haircuts yeah. so she had the idea and she said oh well, I'd like to try a short haircut and she mm -hmm. had the picture she had everything planned out in her head and then the family was like, oh, that's cool. We'll go to town and we'll get you a haircut on Saturday. And she's excited. And then, you know, the other sister, we'll go to town. We'll, get, we'll go shopping with you and she get a haircut. So they drive to town. 
in this town. Like, I won't say the name of the town, but if I give you the name of the town, you'd laugh. Right. You'd be like, you don't go to that town for here. So, yeah. <laughs> so, they go to the town, and then here's the plan. Mom said, you know, the one who wants to go shopping. Mm. So, mom says, okay, I'll take you shopping, and dad, you can take her for her haircut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, there's her, the fault in the story right there. <laughs> yeah. Dad, you can take her for her haircut. Yep. Yeah, that's not going to end well. So, they go, and he goes to the hair salon, and says, oh, my daughter wants to take her. Oh, no, we're all booked up. It's Saturday, it's busy. I'm yeah. like, you know... So he goes, oh, no, there's the barber over there. Let's go to the barber. She just wants short hair anyway. So then next, you know, she's sitting in the barber chair, you know, barber, barber's next up in the chair. And what do you want to do? He goes, oh, she just wants it short. And then, boom. It's all gone. It's all gone. It's just, and so what happens? It's not the haircut she wants, obviously. It's short. Mm-hmm. And so when they go to meet their mom and the other sister, so they're walking down the street, the other sister sees her, she just goes, <laughs> and then she, that's the moment she started to blow her eyes out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I used to have a friend that was so shy about getting her haircut. She would like not tell them anything and she would just be like please just do whatever you want to do and they'd be like okay and they'd just like do whatever and then she'd be like I love it and then get yeah. up and be like no what have I done? Yeah. <laughs> just because she was too shy to say anything about it at the time. Yeah, yeah. But also yeah you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. But anyhow I've got my choice of the one season. Yeah. You do whatever you want. I'm like, oh, whatever I want is not what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had any like like meltdowns like post haircut? No no, 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 not uh, no. The last time I had drama with a hair service was over a color and the toner sort of thing. But yeah. to be honest, the, per- the the person was a Karen. Oh yeah. Like there was doesn't matter what you do to their hair. You just their, they were just not their issue was their hair. Yeah. No. Yeah. So and you can have that, but no. Mm-mm. Yeah. This is fun. This is fun. This is super fun. Yep. I'm glad we met. Yeah, I'm glad we met. This is just such a strange turn of events. It was such a random, yeah. like, because uh, I was, like, going up there. And then I was walking... How did you know about our salon anyway? Because you got a number from something. And I literally... So I walked up the terrace. And yeah. then I was, like, I was going to go to... And then they were, like, full. And I was, oh, like, ah, yeah. oh, frick. Like, damn. And then I was just, like... Haircuts, Wellington, yeah. close to me. And then I like called you straight away and I was like, hey, do you have, because I said I was like, you can either try to book online or you can just call us. And I was just like, oh, yeah. okay, I'm just going to call them and like hopefully, because I didn't want to sound like a total douche and be like, yeah. oh, you guys are closing in two hours. Can I come get a haircut now? But then I, I was like, hi, can I please get a haircut? Yeah, well, well. <laughs> and you were like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so just come in. Yeah. Well, because I was like, I was like, First, I was like, I'm just going to get a haircut at the cheapest place because, like, yeah, that's money what, the is one like. You mentioned there. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. That. And then I was like, cheap haircuts. And it was like, and I was like, awesome, sweet. And then I came here, and then you're like, I'm going to pay you for a haircut. And I was like, you know what? Even better. <laughs> Even better. Yeah. That works perfectly with my budget. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't have had the same outcome of the haircut. I'm not going to throw anyone over a bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, there, I feel there, like... there's speed haircuts in there. Yeah, yeah, Those yeah. Those are speed haircuts, yeah. By speed haircuts, you just kind of like in and out type thing. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's good though. Cause in the video, like, I might I might block out the, the name of the place you said. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's fine. <laughs> but um, it's good though because even when we were talking about like different styles and stuff like that, I was like, oh yeah, okay, maybe I will do that, and maybe I will do that, and yeah. like you know. Yeah. Get to like try something new. Next thing well. you know, there's a beer in your hand and you're getting a haircut. I know. Speaking <laughs> of. They wouldn't have done that. See, that's the difference between us and them is um we have a different level of customer service i feel like mm. i would have gone there and been like okay this is like an average haircut but now it's like i've come here and it's like i'm never gonna go anywhere else no, <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> not after this <laughs> i'm so excited to see the way you style it i'm so interested yeah so you're saying that your grandma had a salon yeah yeah that's the poster there Really? From yeah. their salon? Yeah. $1.50 for a haircut? No, $1.50 off with the coupon. Oh, right. Yeah, no, that's, um, like, oh that's from her. That's from when she first opened, and she opened in 1973. Now, that's my aunt, that's yeah. my cousin, that's my other cousin, and that's oh, some your aunt picture is gorgeous. I got Is she gorgeous? Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Yep, and that's located in Tobago Canyon Boulevard, Canuga Park, California. California. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's my grandma's. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Yeah. And then you're five years old and you're sweeping floors and you're running around having a good old time and talking. But also, a child growing up in a salon is a good for social skill development. Yeah? Yeah. Because it's, you know, interacting with the people, 
you know, you can't be shy. Like if you be shy, you're gonna lose that quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my daughter's the same. Like they're pretty. I'm my my you. my older daughter can be shy sometimes, but she I think. Um, that's a natural thing. Yeah. But I think she'd be even more shy if I was, uh, let's say, an accountant or something, right? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know. If you didn't like challenge her to push yeah, herself. Yeah, no, I push her outside her box. I push yeah. her. I push everyone's. I Do push you, like, you outside your box, and yeah. I only just met you. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Do you like get to have like heaps of fun with them in their hair as well as like? No, I let them juice. It's their hair. They're, like that's how I'm raising. If you're going to raise somebody, yeah, you have to empower them to make those decisions for themselves from an early age. Right. So right. their hair, they can choose it. Her. Yeah, I suppose so. That's yeah. super lovely. But also, you have to empower consent and space rules on kids, on any girl. Yeah, regardless yeah, yeah. of age, right? So yeah. it's their hair. It's, that's their space. If they don't want it, if I don't want an haircut, I want haircut something that they did 20, 30 years ago. Conservative moms, and you're gonna get a haircut, and you're gonna like it. Mm -hmm. But we don't do that this day and age. It's just, it's just belittling. Um, yeah, yeah. A child. Sure. You want them to be empowered at all ages. Because that way, and I was like, why doesn't my kid ever leave the house? They're like 30 years old, they won't leave the house. Because <laughs> you. Because some people made a decision yeah. for themselves they made a decision their, life. their entire life. Yeah. So my kid's uh, 18 years old, <laughs> you're going to uni. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've done my part. Yeah, pretty much. That yeah. was my mom. And I had kids later in life, so no, they're not, <laughs> they're not 18. <laughs> you know, I made you choose your own haircuts, and you chose good ones, so now like, keep making decisions. Because I've always taught you to make decisions. That's good, though. I'm not, yeah. a, I'm not a hand holding person, not even with kids, with anybody, like staff or anybody in my life. Yeah. I'm no hand holding in my, in my world. If someone requires handholding, they're just, you know, especially if you hire somebody, if they require handholding, it's not the place for you. Yeah. You have to make your own, you know, you have to take ownership of everything. Yeah, and learn from the mistakes that you do make. Oh, yeah. Well. There's no such thing as mistakes, but there are, it's opportunities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You recognize it and then you took actions mm. because it's the, the journey, right? Yeah. Like, you don't reprimand someone for a mistake, you give the space for them to. Because I always say, when everything you nailed it, it goes without saying, but when there's a journey where there was a mistake, but then there was a corrective action, and then there was an outcome. Yeah, I think that's even better than when everything went perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. like what you did. You and, learned so much from that way. The diplomacy and everything like that to me, you know, that's amazing. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. And then to quote, um, oh, what's his name? Ah, oh, the painter guy. Van Gogh. No, no, the guy with the fuzzy hair. I don't know why Bob Hope is my name. Bob I, Ross. Bob Ross, yeah, Bob, Bob Ross. Ross. To quote Bob Ross, they're just happy mistakes. Yay, yes, happy yes. mistakes. Happy mistakes, yeah, and I think that's, a, you know, they went a lot. <laughs> yeah, and that's the guy, uh, did you, I watched the documentary. Boy, did he ever get screwed over. Yeah? Yeah. I didn't watch it. Worth seeing. Really? Oh, well, yeah. What happened to him? Oh, the people who uh, were the production company screwed him over. And his oh, kids. really? Oh. That sucks. Yeah. I feel like he was such like a figure for so many people as but well. But someone like that who's wonderful, of course someone's going to screw you over. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do feel like there are particular types of industry where like if you are nice, people will definitely take advantage of it. Yeah. It was the production, right? Because someone else was responsible for his production. Not yeah. his art. He got screwed over. He got screwed out of the production. And then the, um, a lot of his art is, because it was done on camera, Yeah. the production takes it, right? Oh, they're like, we own this now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. I mean, yeah, his personal art, but then the stuff done, the, the production. And he was working so hard. Mm -hmm. um, he would do three, move, three, three shows in a day, but not every day, right? right. Did, but also because he died of cancer. And then in there, they mentioned that it was probably the turpentine. Because, you know, he used to, you know, right. dip in and go, <sighs> slap yeah. it off. Yeah. That's a carcinogenic. Oh my god! Yeah, so that's probably where he got it from. It can't be confirmed. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you're doing the. <sighs> Give it the old, you know, he'd laugh as he'd do it. Mm, mm. And he do it, and he was like, you know, I get it too. I, I work, I work too much, and he does passionate like those things. A lot of people can relate to. Yeah. Um, but when you're working with a carcinogenic like that, mm. because when you slap it like that, vapor vapor goes up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you're just inhaling it. Yeah. And you got to consider, like in hair salon, one of the biggest was like, you know, glass cleaners, mm -hmm. you have apprentices, and then the big thing is them cleaning mirrors at the end of the day, shh, 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 and hurry with the towel yeah, going, oh, it. breathing it all the time, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And then like, oh, let's be good for the environment, let's mix vinegar and water. Mm -hmm. Well, vinegar and water is worse for the breathing that in. Wait, really? Yeah, no, it's not good to be breathing vinegar in. Oh, well, no. yeah, I mean, I suppose, when you put it like that, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. I'm not that kind of, I don't want a salon like that, mm, mm, mm. you know?
But I know I remember my apprentice, and we had floor to ceiling glass, like mirror. There was a whole wall was the mirror. Right, right. right. And then you, you, you were in it. You had to that had to be spotless. How much crap were we breathing in? Yeah. So I can imagine as well with like dyes and stuff like that, like yeah. also so like, like not as bad as they were. Yeah. It's better than they were, but and hairspray and all that stuff. Now I know like from like like growing up around hairdressers and I remember a lot of hairdressers and cancer was now this day and age hairdresser and cancer the numbers aren't what they used to be in the yeah. 70s or 80s and into the 90s because it was been a few funerals in my lifetime but yeah. hairdressers, yeah, um, but different time. But also, they were smokers too because smoking um, and hairdressers and smokers was so rampant. So the smoking, yeah. and hairspray, um, like between working clients, with the colors they had yeah. back then because colors they reformulated um, all, all kinds of things, perms and whatnot. And you walk in a hair salon and it just smelled. Also, they were smoking in the salon. Inside? Right? Yeah, inside the salon. Now, if you were if you're a hairdresser and you weren't even a smoker, your client was smoking. So oh you're standing gosh. over a client smoking, yeah. the secondhand smoke was coming up, and you're spraying and things like that. So, you, the, cancer was bigger in the hair industry back then, yeah. but mostly it was probably due to the smoking than anything. Right, right, right. Yeah. But then it could have been all those, all of those were contributors, but you got to factor in the smoking. Even if you weren't a smoker, now my grandmother, I don't know how she didn't get uh, lung cancer. She wasn't a smoker, but her husband was. Right. And every one of her clients were. So you she know, was and she stood over it all the time and goes home, and he was a chain smoker. He smoked like a chimney. I but, can't um, even like um, she she was like ninety or you know. I can't even imagine a world where people smoked indoors. Like that oh, just yeah. seems crazy to me. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Although I'm pretty sure that's like it's still a thing. Like a little like is it um. Asian countries as well though. Like very yeah. common to smoke indoors and like go yeah. to like bars and stuff and you just smoke cigarettes you know, outside. Do you know the last Western country you can still smoke cigarettes in a bar? Austria. Austria? Yeah, you'd be surprised too. Like you'd think they're a healthy place, but no, they still allow smoking in the bars and nightclubs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And there's a very Smoking in the nightclubs? Yeah, yeah. Oh well, my in gosh. Austria. Yeah, no, that's the last place. That's the final uh, Western country. And they had a referendum not long ago. This is one. And like, no, we are Austrians. We are proud of this. <laughs> but I don't think the Austrians the are a smoking nation. Yeah. The novelty of it, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. And I bet you they, they just don't. Be allowed to you know, if they want they're to. They're not major smokers, but if you have a drink and a cigarette, um, yeah. you know. But I think the whole Austrian thing is interesting, and that's the nation that produces the world's Red Bulls. <laughs> really? <laughs> Every Red Bull can in the world comes out of the same factory in Austria. They don't have different places around the world. Centers. Now you gotta think about that. How many times in a second does somebody in the world open a can of Red Bull? Yeah. Like how many times in a second? Like that's gotta be a huge number. How, Every second. How many so that means this one factory in Austria has to produce that many Red Bull cans in a second and right. then distribute it around the world. How many ports are in Austria? Mm. Wait, I, I have no None. idea. None! What? None. There's no ocean around Austria. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you got to take it from Austria, which is this mountainous landlocked nation, to a port right. and distribute it to New Zealand, Australia, Asian countries, North America, US, and you name it. How many cans have to produce every second and then ship it to a port in another country and then to somewhere in the world? Like, oh my god. Wow, Austrians, you're crazy. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> I know. Now, everyone in the Red Bull, you take it for granted, but you just think about that. Mm -hmm. That's your haircut. Yeah, I know. And look at that fringe, because that's way that's splitting. Yeah. That's the fringe you wanted. Yeah. It's shorter yeah. than you're asking for, but nah. I reckon it's cute, though. I like it. I, I like it, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do two dries. We're going to do a natural dye to begin with okay. for your day-to-day. -day, and then I'm going to do a style, like, not okay. even, you know, you're like, I wasn't thinking about that one. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's the choice box. I'm ready. Cool. So, a little bit kind of a flat style. We're going to picture the machine. Yeah. Yeah. In the machine. Yeah, I know. And then you can flick it around and this will be like your natural. She has to spray a bit of this stuff. Speaking of fumes. <laughs> yeah. This day and age, there's a lot more oils and natural. Oh, this I mean, smells this amazing. Kind of yeah. Wow. 
you know, to see the way all oh, that's framing. And yeah. the length is the same, virtually the same at the back. Yeah, I did, a, yeah, I did yeah. a, like a centimeter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, right the center in the back, and then it was like two centimeters and comes over. Okay. So. I love <laughs> the way it sits parting like that. Yeah. Very 70s. My, I see, and this fringe is like my natural part. I tried to do a fringe like a different time, like other yeah. times where I like, would try to straighten it downwards, but it just, it, like, it, I, my hair just won't do it. It just no. has to part there. No, that's cool. So we'll let this dry for a little bit, mm -hmm. and we can turn the cameras off so you don't have to do that. Making the face as well as being. <laughs> lovely, cool. lovely. We'll be back soon. Be back soon. And here we are. So this is the end of a natural dry, which is what I wanted to show. Like a no emphasis blow dry, just a natural dry, which is what the machine did. And um, let's have a look at Sarah. We're going to photograph it before we do the next stage. And um, let's slide this off here. Yeah. <gasps> and with the okay. denim. With the denim. And that haircut. And that, and that big blocky thing that was there before. Yeah. This is all softened. Yeah, that's really pretty. Love. And um, this is uh, like a natural dry if you didn't do anything with it. Because right. um, you could hair spray a bunch of things too. But I also like the natural dries. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in this channel, I'm exploring all kinds of things. And um, yeah, you can lean forward a bit if you want so mm -hmm, you can mm -hmm. see it better. So you still got the length in the back there. Yeah, all yeah, the soft for layers sure. and everything. And then what really makes this cut is the fringe. Yeah. And that yeah. fringe is like, that's so, so 1978. I love that the fringe is so 1970, it's not even funny. Love. Now back then you could layer it far more and do more. Mm -hmm. But no, this is still a, a look from that time as well. Mm -hmm. um, let's grab some shots of this and then we're going to do stage two. Um, let me find my camera. So we're going to do stage two. Stage two. Yeah. So for stage two. Oh my god! We're going to do one of these. Oh my god. Two barrel. I'm we're going to make it big. Okay, I'm ready. We're going to make it big. And um, I've had this for a little while, but I haven't found the right opportunity to do this yet. But because you still have a lot of length there, which is great. Mm -hmm. The layers aren't so much. This is going to make it look like, it, like the biggest perm ever without perming it. Yes! Out. Fun! Yes! Yeah. And, and we're back. I was saying just before it turned off, I was like, he has gone to rescue the day for a woman who had a cough. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> just in case you guys were wondering. Yeah. I saved the day. Again, I saved the day. <laughs> I saved the day for you too. Yeah. Save the day of the hair. Yeah, save the day. Look at me. I'm always saving the day. <laughs> I saved your hair. Yeah, hero. I'm a hero. <laughs> hero? <laughs> hero. Hero. I'm a hero. <laughs> Bad puns. I like. Well, because I'm officially a dad. I got two daughters, mm -hmm. I can, I'm allowed to do the bad jokes, the bad dad jokes. The dad jokes. The bad dad jokes. I just don't have any at the moment, otherwise I would say them. Usually I'm on a roll, but right now I'm in my fight. Yeah? Yeah, that's okay. What's going on? Oh, I can see it! Now I'm going to bring it forward, you can see what's going on. Oh my god! See, I told you, it's going to look like you got a perm. I love, I love. Yeah, yeah, you're going to want these for sure. Let me know and I can pay you in straighteners. <laughs> I'm just take that one with you tonight and I'll get another one. Yeah. That works, yeah. You know, that can be a payment. Yes. Yeah. I would love. Yeah. I think that's a good deal, actually. That's a great deal. This day and age, the barbers have made a huge comeback. But there was a while there where the barbershop concept was. The youth wasn't doing that. Yeah. The old boys were doing that, the old conservative boys. But now this generation has embraced the barber again. My partner does say it takes like a while to like 
find a good like a person that cuts his hair in the way that's like yeah, yeah well because you know like some men yeah they do just kind of just snip, 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 and then you're like you know you're out but it's not like suited to that like person's like face shape or hair shape or something like that yeah because like here's a pretty particular hair type it's like pretty pin straight and yeah. like has to be cut a very particular way otherwise it kind of looks like a bit change so I'm gonna leave that fringe alone. Okay. Just go flick your head down and flick it right back again. Shake it. That's cool, it's settling in. Now what's happened is because I did one half of the other half, this side's not settled in yet, but this side has settled in. Okay. So this side will settle in. Um, so we'll let it settle in before we do aftershots. But okay. we'll hang up a little bit and drink beers. See. And then uh, we'll do some aftershots. We got that's fun though, eh? It is so fun. Yeah. I lo it looks really Show this like side, because that's no, the other side. That's the side that settled in. The other side has to settle in a bit. Yeah. But that's fun. Yeah. yeah. That's what happens when you take a break in between. Yeah. Anyhow, we'll get back to you guys. I love it. Yeah, me too. I love it. Me too. I love the way it looks like, because my hair is like quite flat against my head most of the time. It yeah. looks like super like bouncy. Yeah. Super fun. Cool. Oh, I don't have to sit down, but okay. um, it's settled in now. We've um, spent some time playing around with it. And um, cool! So yeah. we'll do some after shots. Cool! Come on over. So here's what we're going to do. Thank you for coming in. We're going to gift you one of these. Thank you. Because it's going to be a new, new best friend. That's going to be my new best friend. Yeah, cool. Thank you so much. This is amazing. Welcome to 1978. <laughs> 1978 called. They said, fuck yeah. They said, let's do it. Awesome. <laughs> amazing. No, I love this on you. And I'm so glad. Like, I love serendipitous stuff like this. Like, live seriously. Yeah. Um, yeah. The way we'll this whole evening thing together, and then you end up here in this chair. I know. And so, what we're gonna do, guys? Crazy. You're gonna come back next month. All right. We're gonna do another haircut, another Maybe look. Run too. Leave a comment. What you think we should do next? What would suit me? Yeah. What do you? When we'll have a look. We'll read the comments next month. Awesome. Cool. Enjoy your hair. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. See you. <laughs>